last time on Fallout in New Vegas. We helped out the Kings to an extent, but now we're going to continue the quest and investigate a group of locals of Freeside, getting the crap kicked out of them. We head out and down towards the old Mormon fort. There we will take a juicy photo for our scrapbook. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. We saw what you Only had to sell. Shut up. Our mintats wore off. As you guys can see. And here we are at the old Mormon Thor. We toggle three cam, but as you guys can see, I messed up. This goes on for about a moment or two, where I attempt to get a good angle for a juicy thumbnail. We wait 10 hours. Is that oak? Looks like an oak door. Go into third person. Pull out our Thompson. And we begin the process of getting a thumbnail. Morning. As you can see, I'm testing out FOV. Later on, you'll see why this was a bad idea. You get a nice juicy thumbnail. I think that I've turned off up LD, but I have not. We turn menus back on and toggle free cam off. And we prepare to head into the old Mormon fort. morning this poor fellow seems to be in a coma this poor fellow I have noticeable issues with my mouse Here we go, FOV fixed. Hello. 
So we attempt to talk to Ferris, who's in a I coma. Any reason to talk to you. Scram. And Wayne is useless. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? The king asked me to look into your issue. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. What can you... Do you remember anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. What can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. I have to get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? He did. Anything you could tell me about what happened? We could have also been a dick. A dick. I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Every bit helps things. Or we could be mean. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. And say so you're hiding hey, wait, something. I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him. Lieutenant. Idiot. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Yep. I'm curious how he survived this long. We head out through the oak door. Gate. There we see H and H Tool Company. We'll describe that place when we play with a house playthrough. Morning. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph. We had to see the king. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? The local men were attacked by soldiers. One was identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. He's talking about my They're coming over here now. It's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now... If something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Hi. We'll head off to the old Mormon fort. And skip the whole NCR portion of this. As I don't feel like answering stupid questions. Dum dums.
We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. Your lady friend needs to lighten up. Howdy. Yep, me and the said you seem better than it is. And again, you are an opposed to Parkalypse. This spot truly park us off to the north. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest. We could follow any of those dialogues, but we don't need to. Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. We asked and her if she it? knew anything about the NCR. The king thinks those troops are attacking locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Goodbye. The rest of the dialogue involves followers of the Apocalypse Quest. Apocalypse Quest. But we won't be doing that. That is saved for the Legion and the followers of the Apocalypse dedicated series. Can't help but be impressed with what they're doing here. We head off and towards quite a few other people. And quickly save. We're going to see what happens if I engage the NCR. So we take out these two guys with our heavy sniper rifle. Trouble. It seems like all we get is NCR infamy. But pulling out a rifle, we're gonna head over to the building. And we're gonna inspect these corpses. Uh, uh, nothing. But the door is locked, so we're gonna need to pick these keys. Thank you. We enter. And with no hostilities. It's abundantly clear that this was not worth our time. So we revert to an old save file, being this is our NCR character. We revert to the file right before we took the pot shot. And head back into the main quest. We approach these fine young gentlemen. Hold up, what's the password? We pass a speech check to say see... we're here to see the major. It's urgent. And he lets us right in. But if you were curious, the password was hope. Welcome. There's you with the NCR military? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. 
You serve food to the locals as well? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? Why don't you serve locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Julie Farkas told me to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking, our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Odd. Hello. Doesn't seem like something the king would do. Let's head off and see if he knows what happened. Cause no one, and I mean no one, except maybe the Legion, would attack an envoy in the Mojave Wasteland. It's just not something you do. I hit barrels where I shoot them whenever I see them. Continue to assassinate these barrels, hunting them down and killing them where they stand. And we're going to continue heading off and help out with the, with the kings. Back in the day, we killed everyone in the Silver Rush. I don't think we've done that in this playthrough, but we did it in one. Well, hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? What's my silence worth to you? You're a bastard after my own heart. Here, this should do it. I don't have the barter skill to get him to pay more. So we're gonna go down to the bottom option. Thanks, this will keep me warm while I tell the story to the king. Why, you lit... You're just lucky I got something important to take care of. We'll settle this later. Hi. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? The NCR is distributing soldier supplies in a building downtown. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Only handing out supplies to NCR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That's something I support. No, sir. He said someone was sent to discuss the issue with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? They said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh. 
That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? Hello, oh, he knows how to teleport. King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Yes, sir. We rush off to stop Pace from making a really stupid mistake. We're gonna take a secret passageway to make it quicker. Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the atomic range. And now we're demonetized. But I do want to get lucky. Got any casinos? Nuka Cola bottle. Dead. Oh, look, the silver rush. And a five dollar bill. We hear gunfire off to the left. So we head on over. We loot some guns and some ammo. These guys don't need them. You there, keep your hands where we can see them. Draw a weapon and we will fire. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? We can immediately get her hostile by saying, I thought I'd save everyone some time and just kill you. What? Guards! Over here! As you can see, that's not wise. So reverting to a previous save... Rush off to stop the gunfire. But of course, we're gonna stop this. We're gonna stop to loot some corpses. We find some 10 millimeter ammo, but this guy had a 357. Guy after my own heart. You there? Keep your hands where we can see him. Yes, sir. Draw a weapon, and we will fire. Not like you guys can kill me, anyways. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? The king wants to help with a relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know the envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. And just like that, all the men lower their weapons and agree to cease fire. We're gonna rush off and check what's going on. Of course, we're gonna test something as well, so we're gonna quickly save the game. And head off to confront Pacer. The King just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. I don't really care for pace. So I'm gonna pull my rifle out. I'm gonna blow his head off. Begin karma. Begin NCR infamy. And get shunned. So we're running to a prior save file. And we decide to be a little bit more civil. King just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. I'm gonna loot the last King's corpse and find some 357 ammo and a 357 Magnum, which we will use to repair our modified 357 and have a one to sell.
in case we need it. But of course, we also have a 44 Magnum, so it doesn't matter. Time for six shots. Standard. For luck. We head off and talk to the king. I think Freeside needs a street cleaning crew. Anyone want to volunteer? And we talk to the king. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, aim whatever you want, and if I can make it happen, we it's level done. up. Don't rush it though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. We're gonna wait to call on a favor, and what we're gonna do? We're gonna perk in the speech. Even though this character is more focused on lockpicking and practical skills, we'll worry about speech. We'll be gaining more levels soon. I'm gonna perk into Swift Learner so we get more experience. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is the last episode focusing, focusing on the kings. Hope to see you guys on the next video. It is all about Camp McCarran. It is a series. Of course, if you guys want to stay up to date and never want to miss a video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button, and of course, never forget to like the videos or dislike the videos. And leave me a comment. And you can also follow me at Twitter at JRTOTS21.